One of the most common questions I get in the spring from novice lawn care owners is when do you start cutting the grass in the spring? Do you start cutting the grass when you just see random blades coming up here and there or little chunks of grass that have woken up where everything else is brown? Or do you wait for everything really to start waking up? The answer to this question is actually pretty simple. Once anything in your lawn starts growing, I don't care where you live or what grass type you have, that's when you should start cutting the grass. Cut everything as if it's all growing because parts of your lawn are gonna wake up faster than other parts of your lawn. You don't want the parts that woke up early in the spring to get overgrown before you start cutting them. The thing is, all of the people who live in northern climates running cool season grasses, their grass types are generally gonna start growing as soil temperatures get to 45 degrees and above. For the southern states running warm season grasses, those grass types are really gonna start growing once soil temperatures start pushing above 55 degrees, so long as there's adequate light in the sky. For instance, if you have a very warm January, the soil temperatures might support growth. However, sunlight levels might still be stunting the whole process. For the vast majority of people, growing any type of grass, no matter the location in the country, almost everybody is going to start seeing signs of your grass waking up in the month of March. The earliest people start seeing grass waking up in February and the latest it might start happening somewhere around the 1st of April. During the month of March is usually a pretty good ballpark estimate as to when you should start cutting your grass even if it's not growing vigorously yet, and even if it's not growing everywhere yet. For me, I tend to start cutting my grass somewhere around the 1st of March. It kind of depends a little bit on the year and our weather, but the thing is I like to push my grass to wake up a little bit earlier in the season. I even have videos on this channel about how I do that. Also, I, like most people, have microclimates in my lawn. Parts of my lawn are shady significantly and those take a little bit longer to wake up. However, the sunny parts, those are the areas where the soil temperature warms up faster and they get more sunlight. So the photosynthesis process is able to get going a little bit earlier in the season. So now I'll leave you with legacy content, the edited version of what I produced two years ago. And the reason I'm gonna share it with you today is because I still think it's relevant. So I hope you give it a watch. Hey, what's up, Brian? turf mechanic again um, sitting in the lawn looking at the grass I've been cutting it for a while even though it's not growing a ton but I do know that lots of people wonder when you're supposed to start cutting the grass in the spring man the Sun is just right in my face this morning it was about 27 degrees it wasn't nearly as frosty in the grass as it has been uh, first thing in the morning the grass is very cold and crinkly so I try to stay off of it until it warms up a little bit while the frost thaws out. Middle of the day today, it's supposed to be uh, in the mid to upper 40s. Most of the time, especially for the past six weeks, it's spent its time under 40 degrees. So not a lot is growing, but let me show you something. Here's a section of the grass that I haven't cut in about a week. Let me pan back and you can see there's a couple green tufts and everything right up along the garden bed there is pretty green. That's because of radiated heat from the sun. This little spot here looks like it was a small pea spot where a little bit in the middle burnt. Uh, maybe some more pea there. Maybe the dog was like traveling while peeing. And that spot didn't burn. That spot did a little bit. In any event, it is growing a little bit. And if you get really close, you can see that there are green grasses growing next to dormant, maybe even some dead grasses in there, but mostly it's dormant. Some of this grass is really starting to grow, but uh, most of it isn't. So I've been cutting it and uh, lots of people wouldn't. But the reason that I'm cutting it is because I don't want the grass that is growing to start growing too tall. Once it starts growing too tall, then I'm going to end up having to cut an awful lot off of it. And that's going to stress the grass that's actually waking up earlier than the other grass. If I keep cutting it, even though most of it isn't growing, the grass that is growing will be healthy. And then slowly, all of the other grass will wake up as winter has come to an end and spring is more and more spring-like. And uh, the grass as a whole will wake up to the correct height, you know, when it's ready. All right, so long story short, 
once anything in your lawn starts growing, starts greening up, even if it's little tufts here and there, or maybe it's microclimates along the side of like a sunny part of the house, anything starts growing, just start cutting the whole thing. You don't want any small areas of your lawn to start getting overgrown. You want to train it to the correct height right from the beginning. There are tons of other little tips having to do with early spring. I have an entire video about early spring lawn care. It is geared for the new lawn care enthusiast. Take a look at that if you want detailed full spring education, full spring guide. There's a link to the Turp Mechanic website in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.